Hello, welcome back to the five cylinder channel Volvo. Um, been a while since the early video, I was supposed to do these more frequently, but time and work, there's never enough time. So, but anyways, I'll try to shoot a few videos today and probably upload them all at once, see how it goes. So, topic of today is throttle bodies. Um, there are three throttle bodies available in the Volvo 850. This one here is the what you could usually the size of this you would find in a turbo model. This is about I think 60 millimeters across, and uh, this one specifically is from an automatic. You can tell it's an automatic because this is the flap here is bare metal all the way. You can see it opens quite nicely and this would be basically maximum airflow. Uh, the one that is popular in upgrades is this so-called GLT model from the naturally aspirated 170 horsepower I think at least has this this size. I've uh, run with this myself personally and no complaints it just uh, it's a direct bolt-on almost as you can see the <coughs> the holes here on the back they are quite a big quite a bit differ different in size so you have to actually modify the hole in your intake manifold to accompany this larger larger hole you have to grind away material because this actually extrudes in into the intake manifold the bolts are actually identical on both so it bolts on but if you don't take away material from the intake manifold this will never turn more than say this much and this would basically be no fun in a turbo mill. well you can see it, see it or you can't but you get the idea mm, the gaskets when you buy one the gaskets are exactly the same for both you can see here on this uh, turbo model that there's a slight ring that there has been only gaskets on the outer part, so that actually the gaskets is from the, this uh, GLT model. Uh, now, I say this is an automatic because the automatic does not have this plastic thing you see here. Uh, the, the manual one, the manual turbo throttle body has this plastic and the, the <coughs> The point of this plastic actually is that when you have part throttle, you're basically coasting the highway and opening slightly, it restricts the airflow. Hopefully you can see something that on the bottom you have, you can see my finger, air is going through, but on the top it's still restricting until it goes about past a certain part where it actually, now under here it's very much open, but on the top it's just starting to open. And uh, the point of this is actually to restrict restrict the airflow and make the throttle pedal or the throttle more controllable, responsive, and so on. The automatic does not have this because the automatic uh, gearbox has the torque converter that basically does this for you. It needs a bit of torque in order to get moving, so that's why when you have the automatic it opens directly so for you guys who have a manual turbo if you want to upgrade with really no work whatsoever you could take this uh, automatic one and basically this will flow a bit more on part throttle on full throttle like this I don't think uh, it will be zero to no difference I've actually driven with uh, both of these in my cars I first throw with this one, quite a bit of fun, but uh, the throttle is not so manageable. And then I, I changed into the automatic one, but after after studying for a while and, and wort wanting a bit more, say, control between the throttle pedal's position and how the engine re reacts to that, basically having control of the 
acceleration or throttle, I decided to switch back to the to the regular turbo one. The, the main reason people go for this 91, 92, 93 throttle body, body is because it's bigger. Uh, bigger of course should uh, mean more power because air is more likely or is actually going to flow through this better. But I've taken here this standard boost pipe to show you that really it does not uh, have a great big of a advantage to change to this throttle body as such because all the intercooling pipes are this diameter here and then the last if we take the thickness here the last four centimeters would be then around three inches or also 65 70 centimeters something like that it will not have any effect on airflow if you have the last last four millimeters at this at a bigger size so that's why I, I decided to go back because you have this is the boost pipe that goes over the engine as it comes from the turbo and then goes down into the intercooler this is all about this is all I think two and a half inches is the standard size or 2.25 I forget but uh, anyway we have a 90 degree bend a 90 degree bend here another 90 degree bend and another so we have one two three four and here's a slightly bend so just on this pipe alone we have four 90 degree bends and they will be restricting airflow more than just say uh, if this was a straight pipe that's uh, one of the reasons why the uh, reverse intercooler piping is popular because then this pipe is basically one straight pipe with a small with a one or two bends and this will make the air just go much straighter if you don't believe me just try running around uh, your house or well bad analogy but let's take this random shipping box if you are going to have to run around this corner it helps if this corner is much more narrow you can keep maintain more speed maintain more flow as such anybody who has uh, for some reason been crazy enough to run around the house if you want to run and then go around the corners at 90, 90 degree angles you will almost have to stop so that's what happening what well, that's what's happening here and when you come to this when this uh, boost pipe probably comes to this throttle body there is a small small enlargement here and the flow basically remains at the same velocity so you have a meter or two of this at this diameter with lots of bends restricting the airflow and there is no way that this bigger throttle body will ever be uh, a restrictive part I think or the original one, or or the original for that matter. But they, you actually will get uh, a difference in using these one or the other throt throttle bodies, because um, here we have the throttle position sensors on both of these. The throttle position sensor is basically just a sliding contact let's try to get up some measurements here <coughs> and I'm connecting the two most outermost pins here so when I start moving this you can see I get a 1 kilo ohm with a minimum throttle opening and at full throttle we have 2.6 Two point, and then I'm backing off to half throttle, and now I'm at 1.65. So we have basically between one ohm here, 1.3, which is uh, another interesting thing. If I now I'm I'm not touching the throttle at all. It's 1.3. 
sometimes it's 1.0, some point, sometimes it's 1.2. And this is because inside, inside this uh, throttle position sensor from Bosch, there is actually two sliding contacts, like uh, 1980s joysticks. They had, you could play for one month and after that they would be ruined because there are two metal surfaces basically contacting each other and uh, they will then give off, off uh, a resistive uh, a resistive measurement to to this meter that was not if anybody of you knows uh, electronics don't comment on that please that was a bad very bad analogy anyways <coughs> what you can do or uh, what you actually should do is remove this with this I think there are six or seven millimeter bolts here you can remove this throttle position sensor it will latch out and after that you can actually clean the inside I cleaned mine with uh, some alcohol some turpentine and then I basically drained this in in, in some uh, electrical oil electrical spray uh, and uh, after that when I measured all the different positions I can find tell you what I'll, I'll let's do a new measurement and I'll try to explain what I'm going for so you can see now 1.03 with a little bit of Throttle opening, 1.5, 1.4, 1.6, 1.7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now this is actually quite good because now you see I have very small increases in measurements. There are all values are available depending on how you push your foot. And uh, what I found that one my original that I had on my car was jumping from say 1.25 to 1 to 1 1.3 so in between I was missing basically measurements in between my different throttle openings let's see if we can find one of this one on this throttle body <coughs> or if it this is one of the ones I already cleaned so here we are at 1.62 3 okay there you see it jumped from 1.4 to 1.8 on but when returning it the other way it goes lin down more li in a more linear way okay so this example went to hell quickly because I seem to have cleaned this but but I hope you understand what I mean that okay now I actually am I have been increasing the the throttle for quite some time and it's sticking at 1.86 even though I'm increasing all the time and this basically this signal here is important to to the ECU because um, the throttle position signal actually controls how much how much air and, and stuff will go into the engine Let's uh, reposition here. I might edit in some more fancy pictures here for you, but since these are a, a hobby, I hope you will forgive this really, really, really bad <laughs> way of presenting these maps. But here, here, here are the actual maps found in a uh, Motronic 4.3. And here you can see MUF, MUF load. This is mass airflow load conversion. And one of the things used here is the throttle position sensor. It's right here. The, actually the scale goes from 0 to I think 58. After you have opened the throttle, 58%. Everything on for the Motronic is regarded as wide open throttle. So basically what you have to play with uh, regarding the how much to press the, the throttle pedal is actually 0 to 58 percent after that the engine management says okay you are at full throttle so there is no 80 percent throttle there is just 1 to 58 0 to 58 percent and that's uh, that's what it works with so here you can see that you have uh, 
zero it will be here is the engine speed 5000 rpms and uh, full throttle you will have this load conversion map and load um, the motronic uses the mass air flow it knows as much how much how much uh, fuel it's been injecting so from that it will calculate the load or how much torque the engine is producing so here the, the throttle position is being used mm. here the one the one thing you'll probably be most interesting interested in is the boost map here is the throttle position here and here we have then the engine speed so basically if you are at say 20% throttle it will try to give you give you about 0 0.4 bars of boost along the whole rev range and that's quite quite good I think and then when you are at uh, full throttle or over 58% pedal press it will give you 0.7 bars and then at the very top it will give you jump you up to 0 0.8 this is actually the the 850r uh, a tuned tuned chip so this will not be representative of a stock boost map and here is then another map this does not actually contain any any throttle position sensor but it contains the internal load signal in milliseconds the internal load signal is from the mass, mass airflow sensor and if we remember this mass airflow cell this mass airflow sensor load conversion map uses the throttle position sensor so your throttle position basically the engine engine expects to get a certain amount of air and uh, certain amount of fuel and so on and so on and then we come back here to this ignition map so you have a certain load signal that comes from partly from the throttle position sensor from another map and then the engine speed is here and depending on the engine speed you will get a certain amount of uh, timing advanced and here is now we are coming basically to one of the reasons why without retuning the whole thing retuning a lot of uh, engine management that the the big the GLT throttle body is a bad idea so if you look at uh, the original one here we have say well, okay let's take the 20% example this is roughly 20% open throttle through this you will not get too much air it will be according to what the 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 engine management it is expecting because it's tuned that way from the factory if you now change your throttle body into uh, this 3 inch or the GLT one the 20% here will basically give you the equivalent air of probably probably rough estimate uh, 30% what basically okay let me rephrase here if you open this stock one twenty percent and you will get basic oh and okay let's stop dividing by zero here and try to focus on what we're trying to explain so say I'm at full throttle on this one I'm getting all the air with my stock throttle body the same amount of air will probably be flowing through this GLT throttle body with far less far less throttle body opening it will come to this stage and it will not flow anymore because we are restricted by the boost pipes so this means that you the, the amount of control between between these bodies are that on the stock one you have slowly starting to open and here you are basically at full throttle it's flowing all it all of the level flow and you can see it's almost almost completely open but when you go onto the, the the bigger throttle body the same amount of air 
as this maxes out will already be flowing at a much smaller opening and this is the 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 your you ever get the feeling that you, you are sounding like a complete idiot when you're trying to explain something that is basically quite simple but then your brain decides to decides to to not work at all but okay anyway the flow increases more faster on a on a GLT let's say like that because that's the case when you open a little it already there's a big hole there's a lots lots of air going through but you're still not at full throttle as you would be here and when you are at when you are at full throttle with this original two two inch throttle body you'll have a completely different timing advances you'll have completely different uh, load calculations from the from the math uh, mass air f filter factoring so this means that you will not really have the with the same amount of air flowing through both of these you'll have incorrect timing advancing which you should actually if you're going to use this you should retune your car to actually take into account that when you open the throttle body a very little you're getting a lot of air so your maps should be much more aggressive in terms of uh, ignition timing and another thing why I decided actually to switch back to the original for mine was that you have a lot more linear control of the throttle with this smaller throttle body it's not a restriction it's just that you have more control because you have a lot more a lot more way to 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 move the pedal and increase and decrease flow and you can make a little a small movement with your foot and the hole will change accordingly as and then again with uh, this three inch it's a lot a uh, lot bigger in diameter you will much faster get an increase in airflow and the engine management it can cope with it it won't throw any error codes or, or, or anything like that but it will be a bit confused because it's getting more air than it's expecting and it's just trying to to keep up and manage uh, the and so really when you are cruising at say 100 kilometers or 62 or on the highway you will find that it's harder to with a GLT body to throttle body to maintain a, a certain speed with uh, without uh, without uh, having with minimal pedal movements because any the small movements of your foot will basically drastically change how much air is coming through this throttle body whereas uh, the original smaller one will have a more a small small adjustment will be a small adjustment in air so it's not not really multiplying as much as this one so so for me i find that this the car is much more drivable for an everyday use with this uh, standard stock throttle, throttle body and with this one the, the good one for good thing and the fun thing with this 3 inch is that the air really surges on when you it allows the air very quickly with minimal throttle movement to to go into the engine and, and so on so it gets it the car feels much more responsive it feels much more faster because basically every pedal move you make is full on on off on off on off so it's uh, actually feels quite fun to drive but then when you get into just cruising for hours and hours it becomes a bit of a hassle because you have this on off throttle and of course, of course the on off throttle is an exact exaggeration but but I hope hope you understand what I mean and, and so on. So, in conclusion, it's a fun mod. Your car will feel feel quite a bit faster. It won't be any faster. 
your engine management will be struggling quite a bit more to actually figure out what's going on because the the throttle maps are not really according to the angle of throttle and the air passing through and uh, and so on and and if you have a manual and you want a bit less restrictive throttle body you can take the automatic throttle body and put it in there and if you want to just and that will be a direct bolt on uh, putting this three inch will actually require you to do to enlarge the hole in the intake manifold the gaskets are the same for both and basically the free thing you can do if you want is to just no it's not free if you have to buy a new gasket but buy a new paper gasket from somewhere or basically any gasket material and cut it out yourself and then clean this position sensor because this position sensor will give you uh, a better resolution between different values. It will give you the intermediate values and the intermediate values will then translate somewhere here on the magical engine engine management or, or chip give you more more to work with more intermediate values but I think I was going to make a very short video about this and I think I'm over 20 minutes already so <laughs> Thanks for this time. Um, next time we'll go into injectors and another video I will do is about uh, clutch pressure plates. So, thank you guys. Uh, see you in the next video. And if you have any questions, if you want to subscribe, blah blah blah, you know, it's YouTube. You know, it, you know where to do it. Thanks.